support. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Wednesday, the Cougars baseball team played at home against Powerhouse Halls, and they did pretty well, losing still 10-4, but it was a complete game and more competitive game as our Cougars had a chance to compete and even win this one. Andrew Evans started on the mound for the Cougars. He pitched seven strong innings, taking the loss and giving Ryan Browning some much-needed innings out of his starters and giving his bullpen a much-needed rest. Top of the first, they jumped out at an early 1-0 lead talking about Halls, but the Cougars answered that in their half of the first as Tucker Kane at leadoff, Ryan Browning shaking his lineup up a little bit to get them going, and it worked. Tucker Kane got on first with a double out to left center field. Virgil White got on a bunt single past the pitcher, which put Tucker at third and Virgil at first. Tate McGee drove Tucker home with a ground out to third. Joseph Williams hit a screaming Mimi out to left field that drove in Virgil. Andrew Evans drove Joseph Williams home with a bases clearing triple down the left field line. He was thrown out later on trying to score on a ground out. Tucker Kane scored in the fifth inning, but that was it for our Cougars. They didn't allow the big innings though with errors this time. They kept the Red Devils close with solid defense, especially from second base where Virgil White is. I think he's found a home out there at second base. He made some sparkling plays during this game. Now they went to Heritage Thursday and we'll have the results of that game for you on Monday's 40. Although they lost, the Cougars are playing much better. They will play again Monday and we want to remind you that we will broadcast this game live on AM 1450 or you can log on to 1450WLAF.com with Joe Monroe and myself on the call. Also, we have a special treat for you. We will have our granddaughter, our 11-year-old granddaughter, Paige Cooper, who's going to be with Paval. We might talk to her a little bit about Clinton as she goes to school down there. Lady Cougar's softball team played at Oak Ridge Thursday afternoon. No word on how well they done. They've already had their fair share of downs in the young season, and a team like Oak Ridge doesn't help none when you're on a losing streak. The Lady Blue Devils will be at home Friday for a district game against Coville. Nancy Douglas is looking to repeat as they made the playoffs last year and they look to go further this year. Start time up there will be 5 p.m. Friday, and we may just shimmy on up the highway and go cover this game. We're thinking about doing a game from Jellico. We're trying to sweet talk Jim Freeman into it right now, but we'll see. Our 2 0 Campbell County High School soccer team played at Scott High Thursday, and we'll have those results also on Monday's 40 for you. And you can visit their website at www.cchssoccer.com to learn all about the soccer team, but also, you know, you can visit the granddaddy of all websites around here, cougarsrock.net, where we have the latest news and photos right there for you to see, enjoy, and copy. Calvary Christian Academy, quality academics and biblical character, you can receive both. All the things you want in a school for your child. Grade levels K through 12, phonetic based reading, individualized curriculum, diagnostic testing, character building, and biblical principles. For more information, contact Calvary Christian Academy, 2139 Jacks Pro Pike, P.O. Box 1402, La Follette, Tennessee. Phone 423-562-7267. 423-562-7267. We want to remind you again, coaches, to get those schedules in here to the station so we can cover your events as well as we cover the ones we're already covering. All you got to do is either drop it off here to WLF Studios or you can fax it to us at 423-562-5764. The after school basketball league played Thursday night at East Follett. 
Their season is winding down with about three more games left on their schedule. One team that is really standing out are the middle school Cyclones, who were in action Thursday night against the Pacers. The Cyclones won another to stay on top in the middle school division. Other games played were the Creek Boys against Caribou, both third and fourth. Fifth and sixth grade teams were in action along with the Valley View team. Bucky McKillop, who is the coach of the Carroll team, is trying to get his boys all the games he can get in as he will be the next head coach of Carroll Elementary School boys in the up and coming season down there. A good pick for this young but talented team. Bucky will make them play ball. They will play again Saturday at East La Follette. Our buddy Patrick Peebly, who is coach of the East Tennessee Spartans of the WCFL Football League, it's a semi-pro football team, will be in action this Saturday in Lake City at 4.30 p.m. Now, I know this is semi-pro, and you're probably saying, well, David, give me a good reason to go down there and check this team out. Well, here's a bunch of good reasons. The Spartans, as I said, are coached by Patrick Peebley. He is assisted by La Follette Middle School coach J.T. Addington, who's offensive coordinator, former Cougar coach Bob Gentry is special team coordinator, well-known Little League soccer and basketball coach Jason Austin plays, former Cougars Keenan Evans, Derek Marlowe, Chris DeMott, Eric White, and Josh Allen play, as does former Jacksboro coach Joseph Job. So, again, they play in Lake City this Saturday at 4.30 p.m., and they would love to see all Cougar fans down there, if for nothing else, just to say hello. We want to remind you, too, Dixie Youth will start up in full gear at all locations, all fields, on April the 7th, so look for that. Okay, that's all the local sports I've got for you today. I thank you for being with us. You guys stay tuned. There's a whole big lot more to come right here on WLAF.